Good afternoon. With your permission, I present a work. Neural network method for controlling the helicopter's turboshaft engine's free turbine speed at flight modes. The helicopter's turboshaft engines are a complex thermogas dynamic system with many features that must be taken into account when designing an automatic control system. The quality of control of turboshaft engine's parameters largely depends on the quality of tuning of electronic algorithm. Often in electronic control systems of turboshaft engines linear controller of P, PD, PY and PYD type are used. Their popularity is explained by the simplicity of the mathematical description, low cost of implementation and sufficient efficiency. However, as practice shows within the framework of the linear theory, it is not always possible to tune that PID controller to ensure the required quality of transient processes in a nonlinear system, which are helicopter turboshaft engines. Under this condition, the use of neural network technologies is relevant and promising. When controlling complex nonlinear objects such as helicopter turboshaft engines, such controllers cannot always provide the required quality of control over turboshaft engines parameters, stability and robustness of the system under changing operating condition and failures. In this case, it makes sense to use alternative nonlinear controllers. For example, it can be a fuzzy logic controller FLR, which has the property of robustness. However, when using this type of controllers, the overshoot value ranges from 0 0.1 to 2.2 percent. In order to eliminate overcasting, increase statistical accuracy and develop a method for controlling the speed of the free turbine of helicopter turboshaft engines using neural network technology. This is an ongoing scientific and practical task. The main task of the automatic control system of helicopter turboshaft engines is to maintain the rotational speed of the main rotor. This task is accomplished by controlling the free turbine speed through the required fuel flow rate. In connection with the foregoing and improved typical circuit for maintaining the free turbine speed of helicopter turboshaft engine with a linear PID controller is proposed and presented in this figure. In this work, the neural network training method based on the method of programmatic gain adjustment developed by Professor Volodymyr Zubov was future developed which, by integrating direct data transmission into a dynamic neural network. When synthesizing the controller, a dynamic neural network of direct data transmission was used, based on neurons with a radial basis activation function in the first layer and adalinous neuron with a linear activation function in the second layer. At the same time, on test examples, the optimal settings of the neural network were obtained, which provide the smallest overshot for a given time of the transient process. The following sequences are used as neural regu regulator inputs. Reference signal, a master sequence that determines the final state of the object, controller output, feedback from the controller output, object error, the difference between the reference signal and the real output of the object, integrable error, the error 
accumulated by the controller for the entire time of the object operation. Object output signal from the object output. The automatic control system structure, which includes a neural network in the role of the setting the coefficients using a PID controller, is schem schematically shown in the second figure, in which the neural network plays the role of the sum functional converter that generated the required coefficients of the PID controller for a set of input and output signals. In the experimental work, the input signal obtained according to previous equation in use the and an analysis for the TV3117 turboshaft engine, which is part of the power plant of the Mi 8 MTV helicopter according to the data obtained on board the helicopter during the flight. This slide shows the results of input signal per processing. There are diagram of dependence of the signal amplitude of the time for the signal under study, diagram of the probability distribution for a noise signal, scattered diagram of input parameters, clustering results. After the randomization procedure, the actual training, control and test samples were selected in a ratio of 2 to 1, that is 37% and 33%. The distance between the cluster practically coincide in each of the considered samples, therefore the training at test sample are representative. The neural network was trained by above method for thousand epoch. The training accuracy characteristic in show in this figure. The steady state mean square error is 0 0.382. Right figure shows the results of the neural network training validation test, from which it can be seen that the average value is the gradient is and the optimal values of the training coefficients does not exceed 1. The work carried out a number of additional studies that determine the influence of training parameters of the quality of the neural network, namely influence of the training rate coefficients, influence of the number of neurons in the hidden layer, influence of the delay length of input signal, influence of the number of training epoch passed. The resulting figure shows the characteristics of the transient process in the terms of free turbine frequency rotation as well as according to the developed neural network. Left figure shows diagrams of change in the values of the coefficients of the PID controller during the transient process. As follows from left figure, the transient process turns out to be very close to the reference process, and the PID controller with a neural network provides a much higher quality of control than PD controllers or various architectures. Right figure shows a diagram of the joint arrangement of the transient curves according to the free turbine speed during the operation of various controllers. First table presents a numerical analysis of the quality of operation of the circuit for maintaining the free turbine speed with various controllers. A comparative analysis of the accuracy provided by each of the considered controllers in given in second table, which shows the probabilities of the errors of the first and second kind in determining the optimal free turbine turbine frequency rotation parameter. The conclusion are presented in this slide. Thank for attention.